I've always said, learn from me, teach from me. It's an opportunity to learn and grow. When I was diagnosed, they told me within five years, everything would be cured. And I was 17 sitting in a hospital a week before my prom. And I thought, okay, five years, I can get through that. The reality of living with insulin was, was a pretty cruel one for me. The paramedics knew me by name because my highs and lows were so severe. That's not a proud thing, but that's the way it was. And my doctor threw his hands up and said, you need to go to Chicago. I'm going to get you in line with someone. As Joey returns to the University of Chicago for her monthly evaluation following an experimental islet cell transplant, she is reminded not only of how far she has come, but how her journey from insulin dependency began. The university was looking into islet cell transplant, you know, that it was very experimental. It had not been done here before. And would I be interested in finding out more information? And so I said, well, absolutely. My reality is, is I had a little baby and I was afraid to drive. And, you know, would I have enough trouble with these diabetic problems to be able to see her grow up? And so when you weigh the, the, the small risks involved with it with a lifetime of being there and being healthy and being back to who you were, there was, there was no choice for me. So I jumped. Four years after undergoing the groundbreaking procedure, the transplant team at the University of Chicago continues to monitor Joey's progress with equal doses of encouragement and amazement. So you know we're coming upon your four-year anniversary. I don't have to tell you that. As the first patient to undergo the procedure at the University of Chicago, it has been a life-altering experience. It was monumental. It was so exciting. And the doctors were vibrating. Me, I was vibrating and shaking. Joey acknowledges her role as a pioneer in cutting-edge diabetes research and its impact on those facing similar challenges in their daily lives. When I'm here, I, I, I refocus on it. A miracle to many, her journey is made possible by dedicated doctors, nurses, and researchers at the University of Chicago. I feel like a normal person. I feel limitless. Joey's story is about renewal, no longer bound by the constraints of a serious and potentially life-threatening disease. For millions of others, her story brings a message of meaningful hope and unlimited possibilities. If I got this disease only to be part of this study and to find out how to find a cure, maybe that is my, my purpose. And now after I've had it and I can return to who I was, um, maybe I am too optimistic, too excited, too, but that's where I'm at in life. And I just, you can't tie me down. And that's the person I like to be. That's what I think what I've learned about myself.